Congratulations on your purchase of TrendNet's TVIP743SIC or TVIP745SIC cloud cameras. This video will walk you through the camera's quick setup. We will start the installation at the location where you would like to install the camera. So let's get started and take everything out of the box. You can see we have our camera, the power adapter, and wall mounting hardware. For the camera to function, you need an existing wireless network. For this installation, we will be using TrendNet's award-winning TEW812DRU router for our home wireless network. Let's go ahead and power up the camera. It will take about 30 seconds to start up. While it's starting up, we can install TrendNet's free CloudView app on your mobile device. We have a free Apple and Android version of this app. We open the App Store and search for TrendNet CloudView, CloudView being all one word. We now download it for free. If you already have this app installed on your device, make sure it has been updated to the latest version which is currently available. Earlier versions of CloudView don't have the ability to install these cameras. Now let's take a look at the cloud camera. When you see the solid amber light on the camera, it's ready to be installed. Before we open the camera, we need to connect wirelessly directly to the camera from your mobile device. On this device, we open settings, then choose Wi-Fi, and it will display all of your available wireless networks. To ensure your device doesn't automatically default back to your home network during the setup, we recommend selecting your home network and choosing Forget for this network. For the TVIP743SIC camera, we would select the network named TrendNet743. For the TVIP745SIC camera, we would select the network named TrendNet745. We simply select it and we are connected. Now we open TrendNet's CloudView app and agree to the terms of use. On the first screen, we can see the TVIP743SIC listed. That means the app detects the camera. If the app opens to a blank screen, then you can press the rescan icon. After a search, it should be displayed like you see it here. If it's still not displayed, make sure the camera is powered up and the amber light is on, and make sure that your mobile device is connected to the camera. Now we press the wireless icon next to the listed TVIP743SIC. For username, we'll enter the word admin, and for the password, we'll enter admin, then press OK. Now we are prompted to change the camera's username and password. For the username, we will choose a memorable name such as Baby Room. We need to enter a password which is at least 8 characters long. We recommend you save the new username and password in a safe place. Let's go ahead and enter the new camera password and press the check button. Now we are in the camera's wireless settings. We can see all available wireless networks and we will choose to connect to one of our home networks. We can see all available wireless networks and we will choose to connect to our home wireless network or to the TEW812DRU. Your existing wireless network requires a wireless signal strength of 2 bars or greater. Here you can see the signal strength is 3 bars. If it's only 1 bar, like we see here as an example, you need to either relocate the camera to an area with greater wireless coverage or upgrade your wireless network. We will select our home router or the TEW812DRU and enter the wireless password required by the router and then hit the old school floppy disk icon which saves and connects your camera to your wireless router. This takes about 30 seconds. You will now see a message informing you that the camera successfully connected to your wireless network and that you now have to connect your mobile device back to your home wireless. Press the close the app button and wait a few seconds. The solid amber light on the camera will turn to a solid green light. This confirms that this camera is connected to your home network. If the solid amber light does not turn off, you have entered the wrong password for your wireless router. To start over, you first need to go back to your wireless settings on your mobile and reconnect to the camera. Then you can open the app again and it will first display live video from the camera. Press the back arrow located to the top left corner. Now you will see the list of cameras. Press the Remove icon on the bottom and remove the camera. Next, press the Search icon in the top left corner. We see the TVIP743SIC listed and we press the wireless icon. It will prompt you for a new username and password you just created. Then select your wireless network again and enter the proper password and press the old school floppy disk icon again. Then press Close the App button and wait a few seconds. Now we will connect your mobile device back to your wireless network. On your mobile device, go back to settings, select wireless, and now connect to your home wireless network. In this case, we are using TrendNet's TEW812DRU. 
we will connect to it. Now we will go back to the Cloud View app and open it up and we will automatically see a live video from the camera. The camera settings are already saved in the app. It's that easy. Now let's customize the camera listing on your phone. We'll go back to the camera list by pressing the back arrow. We can see that the camera is still listed as TVIP743SIC. Let's press the edit button and add a thumbnail image and change the camera name to Baby Room. We will select the TVIP743SIC, then by pressing the thumbnail box, you can insert an image to be displayed with this camera from your photo gallery. Then under name, you can assign the camera the memorable name of Baby Room. Finally, press the old school floppy disk icon to save changes. And now we see the thumbnail and Baby Room camera name listed. When you connect to the camera for the first time using a 3 or 4G, it will take between 2 to 5 minutes to establish the very first connection. Simply let the app run until the connection is made. After the first connection is performed, the camera's video will be displayed right away. The initial installation is now done. To set up this camera on other mobile devices, simply download the free app to other mobiles, open the app when you are connected to your home network, and search for available cameras. You will see the TVIP743SIC displayed and then press the plus button on the bottom. Then input the new username and password you've defined for the camera. The new mobile device is now displaying live video from a cloud camera. To connect a mobile device to the camera when you are away from home, simply record the unique 8-digit code located on the bottom of the camera here. Then when you are away, open the app and press the manual connect icon you can see on the top right or the folder icon with the plus sign. We will insert a camera image and change the camera name. Then under ID, this is where you enter the camera's unique 8-digit code which we previously recorded. Next, we enter the username and password you set up for the camera, and finally, we press the old school floppy disk icon in the top right and save all settings. Now you can see the camera on the camera list. Select the camera to see the live video over the internet. Once you are done integrating all your mobile devices, you can now use the live video on the app to place the camera in the exact location you desire. It comes with mounting hardware for wall applications and also easily sits on your existing furniture. For more helpful camera videos, we invite you to take a look at your camera's product page at trendnet.com or enter trendnettv.com to browse our YouTube videos.